EFC Africa presents Africa's greatest warriors, Demart Pena versus Abdul Hassan. Demart the Wolf Pena, the undefeated EFC Africa featherweight champion. Demart Pena is the undefeated, undisputed champion of EFC Africa. He is the youngest champion in EFC Africa history. Born and bred in Angola, he now flies the flag in South Africa for his country. Taking his first EFC Africa fight on just two days' notice, Pena rose to the challenge with two straight victories before winning the featherweight title at EFC Africa 10. Initially, a lot of people questioned the validity of Demart Penner as a champion. He has since then gone and dominated every single one of the opponents in front of him, and he is now the authoritative voice of the featherweight division. You know, ultimately, it's not really about what people say or think. For me, as an athlete, it's about what I need to do to become a better athlete and to become a winning champion. Leo coming in hard, and Demarte going for a takedown immediately gets Leo on his back, Demarte away, which he does. Oh, Demarte lands a hard shot. Wesley Hawkey was always going to be Demarte Penner's toughest challenge. He went into that fight, and he was in trouble a couple of times, but he showed great grit and great character by coming back in that fourth round, sinking in a rear naked choke, and actually finishing a guy that has not been finished in the featherweight division. At EFC Africa 19, Penner went five rounds with Wenzel the Animal now. Showing no mercy, he revealed an iron will that will not be stopped. Demar Pena encapsulates what it means to be a champion. Even when all the odds are against him, he finds a way to win. He improves so much in between fights that it's crazy to think what level we'll see him at in this next bout. Abdul Hollywood Hassan the Durban bad boy and Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist. Abdullah Hassan has a career stretching over 10 years and he's done and seen pretty much everything inside the cage. Hassan again goes for the triple and that face is taking a real pounding. A BJJ specialist, Abdul Hassan has developed a perfectly rounded game plan that puts him amongst the best in the world. With his complete arsenal and massive experience, he is an overwhelming threat. In his EFC Africa debut, he went up against another BJJ expert and he showed that he has the superior Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and he also showed incredible stand-up. Everyone rated his jits. They said he had amazing Jiu-Jitsu, you know, he almost caught me in a triangle. But I kept top position and I kept that GBH ground and pound. The fight against Denzel Waite, Abdul was not 100%. He went in with a lot of personal problems and it showed in the fight. It was a very soft victory for Denzel and Abdul learned so much in that fight and it really showed in his next two performances. Nice head kick by Abdul. And Abdul immediately gets the takedown again. Abdul landing a hard shot. That's the end of the end of the fight. What makes him so dangerous is his top game in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. As soon as he puts you on your back, he really controls, he doesn't make mistakes, and he can grind out wins against very difficult, very tough opponents. At EFC Africa 18, Hassan defeated Gareth Bierski with a display of ruthless strategy, securing him the shot at the featherweight title. He truly believes he is the top featherweight in the country. He is 100% sure that he is going home with that belt. EFC Africa 21, 25 July, Carnival City. Tickets and broadcast information at efcafrica.com.